stir fry mystery meat. See, I've cut up the meat. The meat is in this. Isn't that wondrous looking? Never believe this. Actually, what I have is stew beef and some leftover pork chops. I'm going to make something out of it. I have a sweet and sassy stir fry recipe for shrimp and for chicken. And I decided to do a little variation on the theme. So I cook hot. The meat's in there. I cheat it a little. I will add the olive oil according to the directions. And I'm going to season to taste with garlic salt and ginger. Didn't want to waste time. Sean can get on the uh, meat here, starting to brown up. Now, because I'm cooking hot, and remember, I just came home from work myself. So, and uh, Sean is objecting strenuously to this. I add the onions, keep stirring vigorously. It is stir fry, we break them up. Now I could tell a few stupid jokes, but I think that's a waste of time. These are two small onions. You can add more if you like more. I like a lot of onions. This was the last two I had in the fridge. Ain't that a shame? That's a shame. <laughs> now after the onions start breaking up, we add the salsa. Now I know that a half a cup of salsa this is sweet and sassy salsa medium, which is hot enough for most folks. It's a quarter of a jar. I got a half a jar in here, so I'm going to add half of what's left. Ah, come here. A cup of sweet and sassy salsa barbecue sauce completes this. Don't be shy. And when nobody's looking, I usually run a little bit of water in to get the rest of it out. Waste not. Want not. There you go. Stir that up real good. And as you can see, it'll go back to bubbling real quick. Because again, we're cooking at high heat. Now this is beef chunks and pork chunks. Fresh Spanish onion, sweet and sassy salsa, and sweet and sassy salsa barbecue sauce. See a little piece of tomato in there. Now we have Worcestershire sauce, which we add, and soy sauce, which we add. And we'll let this cook for about two minutes. Remember, this is gourmet dining on a budget. Got a regular thing of frozen green beans here. I let that cook an extra minute, soften the onions up. Now I pour a pound of frozen green beans, half of a two pound bag, obviously. Set that to one side. Get the ginger a little bit on top of the green. Stir it all up really good and at this point you're done man you got a stir fry treat and that'll feed a family of four maybe five at this point somewhere around here I hid the lid here it is over here Sean it's probably your fault cook it on Five minutes later, set the timer. You don't want to overcook anything because it dry out the meat, especially if you're using chicken. You'll be ready to eat. Now what we do, you can put it over rice if you like, but we like the hard chow mein noodles. If you like fancy bread, do that. The whole process, even chopping up all that meat, took me maybe 15 minutes. Okay. And that's how we do it around here. Thank you, Sean. You'll be ready to eat. Now what we do, you can put it over rice if you like.
We like the hard chow mein.